Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. You can listen to The Mike O'Mara Show at MikeO'MaraShow.com. Let's get started. It's The Mike O'Mara Show with Mike O'Mara, Oscar Santana, and Rob Spiewak. Now, here's Mike. Ladies and gentlemen, when you listen to this show, you never know what goes on behind the scenes. And today, I am so mad at Mike O'Mara, I <laughs> am ready to fire him on the spot because he is such a last-minute Nelly, and he has succumbed to the rhythm of our schedule, which is no rhythm at all. And he's going to get in here earlier, he has promised me, and be ready to go when everybody else is ready to go. Because this morning, he was an utter F-up. I And all of the problems he had, all of the problems, I know you do, uh, all of the problems that uh, he had could have been avoided with just an earlier arrival. That's all I wanted to say. No, so I mean, I'll, I'll be lecturing was, him. You were, I've always it was said, the Mike. Technical. It was technical. No, no. Mike's always said, if you're on time, you're late. Precisely. Yeah. I don't care if I have to sit on my ass for 15 minutes. Remember, yeah. I said this. I will be in here. It takes you time to, to ramp up. It just always does. But so usually it's it much quicker out. than it was today. And t- today yeah. was just, uh, yeah. you know, we all have our issues. It's uh, yeah. it's it's depression February. We were talking oh my about God. depression at the beginning of the I show. I believe in depression. <laughs> I believe in depression February. If, it's the saddest month of the year. Oh, Agreed. no. Agreed. I don't, I, see, that's something I never bought into. There's a lull because the lack of activity. I yeah. feel that, especially right. if you're if you're a talk show host because- well, this is an election year, so you can't talk about a lot of stuff. So then people get mad about that as well. Uh, but not not Trump sneakers. That's no, comedy no, gold, no, Jerry. No, no, I got like I, the sneakers. I, I watched the Daily Show. Um, I, the, I finally caught up with it yesterday. This past week's episode, the um, Monday, the Monday one, the only the Monday, day, the only Monday. Daily Show, the once a week Daily Show. That's right. You I'd know, love to see the ratings on Monday compared to the rest of the week. It's it. The debut of the previous Monday had the most ratings since John Stewart hosted the show. That's awesome. Yeah. The, for the first deserved time. makes sense. And uh, people got mad at him because he was making fun of uh, Biden being old. Which, I did which uh, John? Here's what John Stewart knows that nobody else knows. John Stewart knows how we, the vast majority of the left, really think. He does. Yeah, and that's why when he was making those jokes <laughs> about Biden saying chocolate chip cookies, I laughed my ass off. Yeah, I'm still going to support Joe Biden for president. People know that, but apparently, people uh, that are out of touch on the left got really angry at him. And I say, screw those folks. Because, come on, it's reality. you got to be self-aware. Self-awareness is what I pride myself on having on this show. If I screw up, I like to admit it. I like to know what's going on. I like my guys to tell me that I'm screwing up. And if you're, if you're not thinking that's funny, something is wrong with mm. you. Something is hysteric. And if you're not concerned, I'm even more scared of people on the left that aren't a little concerned with having two – Guys that are near 80, one who is 80 and one who's uh, going to be 80 in a heartbeat. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's just reality. What are you Didn't getting upset I, about? Wasn't it John Stewart who said this is the oldest pair of people running for president since the last time these two ran for that's president? That's true. Yeah. Absolutely true. So great, great to have him back on. I feel I like agree. it's a voice of sanity. I really, really do. I'm glad you're yeah. you're watching it, Oscar. Yeah, I, um, I was watching it with... I, did, I I love Shannon, but she just. Is, I was like, "Do you want to watch the Daily Show with me?" And she said, "I'm just going to watch my stories." So, now, what are her stories? Oh, Dateline. No, she watches. She'll like rip through. It's, it's a form of meditation or escape. Uh, there's a 55 inch in our living room, and she'll watch the iPad while I watch the 55 inch. <laughs> the way it works in your yeah. household yeah. no are, but i'm curious I know, it's not what are I'd, rather her go stories? I'd rather go upstairs and watch the 65 inch but so i think we're going to share something so i've already set myself up in our living room we have a and then she'll pop out her ipad and then she'll watch her show and i'm like yeah. i'm cool so yeah. you don't even so, know what she's watching. no and i just let santa's no. look at my balls and then the, the night's the night you know and nighty night mike does, night. does carla have stories because carrie has i don't know stories. if you can say that on air carla i want to write that down plays 
Uh, lick my balls? I don't think you can say that. <laughs> well, not if you spot Hey, it's it. fine with me. I'm an old shock jock, in case you didn't remember. I remember. Um, well, Santos, you know, he's got a good name. Peanut butter. <laughs> um, no. So Carla uh, works on her social all the time. Yeah. And when she's not doing that, she's playing games. And when she's not doing that, she's playing the Mega Touch, which is 500 years old in our bedroom. And when right. she's not doing that, she might throw on a dateline. Okay. And uh, I like the murder stories. I can get into a good murder. murder story. I'll be bringing that up later in the show today because there is a murder story that I am mm-hmm. fascinated with that I really it was a movie. Not a, I, I sometimes the murder stories when they say six episodes, I kind of go, oh. that's a lot. But I'm too much. Yeah. But if I've got a movie, you know, where it where it uh, wraps it up in one segment, that's a, you know, a movie documentary. I'm, I'm happy with that. True. But detective. Uh, True Murder. Detective, which I, that's which a story. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm caught I'm up. Not caught up with. I'm oh, not caught up. I'm not either. I'm not either. Season finale, already. Really? Just that's right. Yeah. It just hit. It just hit. Oh, I got it. This I forget past where Sunday. we are. I forget where, where we are in no. the week. So I have so to do that. Carrie's stories yes, are Below Deck, which is the reality show on a yacht. I've looked and at I, it, and I can I can bear that. That's okay. She also watches 90 Day Fiance, which I cannot. Stand. There's like 30 spinoffs. I, can't I will up. leave the room on that one. And she also likes now this is there's been a resurgence in her interest in Vanderpump rules. Not very, very popular. And uh, but she'll put it on and still live in her phone because those shows move at a snail's pace. There's they're, they're like listening to her, an album in the background. I they'll, do like the heartbreak and tears is always they'll fade that, out. Though. Get my, Go to a break in real TV, unless you're watching it online. If you're streaming it, it's different. Yeah. But then they'll come back and they'll recap Everything what they just you... did. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. it's crap. It's pure, you, absolute you, crap. Do you pay? You have YouTube YouTube TV, right, Mike? I have YouTube TV. Yes. Okay. I do. do you pay that under that same profile? Do you pay for no ads? No. It's an extra fifteen dollars a month. That's a no. lot of money. And no. when you get no ads, oh. The time in your life you get back. Yeah, but I don't, um, you know, when I'm watching YouTube TV, um, it's the same. Like, for, I'll give you Jeopardy as an example. I mean, I, yeah. I just skip through like I would with any DVR. That's the way I do. I just skip ahead. You know, but, usually watching stuff oh, I'm, I'm on a delay like anyway. Real-time television. Real-time television. I don't watch enough of real-time the television. The secret is, is to, to do DVR that. it and then come in 15 minutes into it. Yeah, but then, you don't. You don't like watching just a regular show, like for example, Ted. Yes, right. No, no. Uh, have I you seen? I have you watched Ted by chance? I have not. No. One I for you not. and your son. Uh, really? I think it's on Paramount or well, my Peacock. Son's sense one of, of the humor. two. Oh God! When it's, I really it, get him, when I really get him to laugh, yeah, it's just so. It's much a fun. full season of the Teddy Bear going back to high school with his kid. Not Mark Wahlberg, just a new cast, but with How, the teddy bear. Uh, is, is Seth MacFarlane doing Ted's voice? Oh, yes. Oh, it's, I can oh tell okay, from that's the important promos, to me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's important to me. Throughout I, you know. the season and the, the shenanigans they get in, I was like, man, I hope Michael and, and, and Mike are watching this together. That's Sufficient awesome. amount of monkey business that they get into? Yeah, it's just, and the way, like, he's like, hey, like, Ted pulls out, you know, money out of the blue, and he's like, hey, where do you keep your money? He goes, don't you worry about where I keep my money. <laughs> like, <it gets> <laughs> <off>. Some pocket. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, some some, some pocket fold, in. <laughs> some rectal <laughs> cavity on the stuffed bear. Okay, yeah, I'm but in, he I'm does in. it in the Boston Ashley. Don't you mind where I keep my money? <laughs> my money. There you go, Johnny. Hey, Johnny. <laughs> yes. I thought you might be Johnny. <laughs> and then oh, he, there's another it. episode where he tries to get kicked out of high school because he wasn't going to school. And then uh, the father who they live, the, the family live with, is like, you got to go to school now. You can't just sit at home and do nothing. So he ends up going to school with the kid. So he tries to get himself expelled. <laughs> Ted. It's just funny. I, you know what? It is funny. And that's, I'm glad it's a TV series and I'll try to check it out uh, with my son. Uh, Mac, I have to ask you a question. Did you receive the video that I sent you? Yes, I did. The video with the uh, doctor, correct? Yes. All right, um, I need to bring you boys in on this uh, right. right at the beginning of the show today uh, because this is something I, I've been sitting on for a couple of days and I want to make sure that uh, I, I, I first want to know what your thoughts are because there is the potential 
like all of this uh, area of medicine where it could be a little bit truth, a little bit quackery, but I would be willing to give it a shot based on where I've been in this part of my body for my whole life. What I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you've seen it. Probably not. This stuff comes on my feed, and there are a million things out there. Mm -hmm. But I'm talking about deviated septum manipulation. Mm. Uh, Years and years and years ago, I broke my nose in a hockey game. Now, I probably broke it again actually in a baseball home run uh, celebration where I caught a guy's elbow as we were doing the jump up, jump up, and it right. really clocked me. And I think I kind of reaggravated it. But but the but the break in uh, hockey was really bad. I bled like a stuck pig, and it was all over the ice. And I had to go up. And then my dad said it's probably not broken, and I never got it treated or set. But I looked at it, and it's crooked, and my nose is crooked. Flash forward to I am now. 103 years old and I this come thank you and this comes across my feed and I'm like oh my god I I could be a candidate for this if if it's real and what it is is called deviated septum manipulation we all think of a chiropractor as someone who manipulates the spine now this is on the heels of what I call the ring dinger where they basically separate the head from the body and you hear the crack and they go oh yeah, we've I'm seen so this happy. we've seen this on the show yeah we've seen that on the show mm-hmm. this is a new one and i i think there are multiple doctors doing it but i haven't checked with my guy uh but i might my wonderful uh uh chiropractor e- dr your chad nose and throat here. oh no not a, not a doctor this is a chiropractor mm. and i'll show you what he does and mac roll the tape for us right now if you don't mind the nose, he snores, right? Yeah. Oh, yes. We're not adjusting bone, okay, guys? We're adjusting the septum cartilage. Now, if we watch his nose, if I push from right to left side, that's okay. But when I push on this side, it's right there is what I feel. Yeah, I can feel that tight as well. Do you feel that? Yeah. Okay. This is the bone right here. This is the septum right there. Damn. The difference in this in the nose adjustment, when we're adjusting a vertebrae, this is actually really important. When we're adjusting the vertebrae, there's bone, disc, bone. But when we're adjusting the septum, it's bone, disc, or septum, and then cartilage. So we're setting this part to the bone on the top, not the bottom. That's the difference. Chin down. Oh, no. There we go. That's it. The guy's crying. That's it. So uh, that, that and that's it. And oh, apparently, the guy didn't say anything afterwards. What are the results? Yeah, uh, I've watched uh, mul- multiples of this. Okay. That's the one I brought you because he explains himself more than yeah. he does on other videos. So people get up and they're like, "I can breathe." Uh, sort of. Yeah, not overwhelming, but I mean, it's something where I am. Uh, I've got two things going. I don't like the fact that my nose is crooked and has been for my entire adult life, right. and I also. Uh, if I breathe, I, wish, I always forget which side is the bad one. This one, this side right here yeah. is the bad side, and that's the easy side. So, like that. Uh, and I would be, I would be willing to give it a shot because I believe that if you're in a situation, chiropractic can help you. I believe in it. Yeah, I believe it. I've, I've done it. It's worked for me it. before. Yeah. What it's, about it, a deviated septum surgery? That brings up a Didn't very, Didn't Carrie very good have point. surgery like that? Uh, they did Pipe something. Up. In her, yeah, I'm trying to remember exactly what they did. I don't think that. You they, said it was a deviated septum. That's where it started, yeah, and it turned into a brand new body. How, let me ask you this question. How do yes. I know more about your wife's surgery than you know about your wife's surgery? Maybe you care more. <laughs> I guarantee you that. <laughs> if she's happy, it's fine. Do it, honey. But yeah, I guess my question. I guarantee you that. <laughs> for, wide swath of time. For someone who had a deviated septum and had deviated septum surgery when he was a kid, me. Right. Because I got in a terrible go kart accident. I didn't know and that. Then, yes. I didn't know that. Yes. You learn yes, something yes, every day yes, on this yes, wonderful yes. show. Yeah, his well, parents made him do show. it. His parents made him do it to earn money. And they forced him into well, the go kart. It was 11- like a mommy dearest situation. Uh, yeah, I had to race for our papers. Um, 
So, we, <laughs> have you ever have you brought this up on the show before? I don't think. Uh, yeah, oh, it's embarrassing. One time, um, probably ten years ago. So, and the embarrassing part is this: one, uh, well, there's a couple. Whew. Get ready, America. I hope you're not eating lunch. Um, one is, I was eleven. No, I was twelve years old when the surgery happened. Okay, twelve going on thirteen. Um, and I remember this because one. I went into the doctors and I said, hey, uh, here's my note from my doctor. I will be out of class um, for the next like six days because I'm having surgery on my deviated rectum. <laughs> and <laughs> okay. I think I remember that. That I one. do remember. But I we remember didn't know about one. the golf cart. Yeah. yeah. How old were you when you, you made this mistake? 12. 12. Okay. I should know better. Yeah. Nah, uh, you know, I'll give you a little pass uh, under the age of 15. So, um, and then she started giggling. And she was, I remember one of the prettiest teachers in school. And I was like, I'm sorry, did I get some? Uh, she goes, no, she goes, she goes, it's septum. Septum, <laughs> not rectum. Right. Not rectum. Deviated rectum means you're she pooping goes, Do you into know your right your leg. your rectum is? And then she pointed to my, took us. This is your septum. That's your rectum. <laughs> I was like, okay. Gotcha. Mo- moving on. Um, so, and then after post-surgery, because I was, and Mac, if you can find any more videos as we're talking about that, uh, yeah, please. feel free to pop them up. Okay. Um, because I was uh, going through puberty, going on 13, I remember, because I celebrated my 13th birthday. I have a deviated rectum. Now, that, like, you're just, you're so young that you, you're like, oh, man. Um, I don't you think you knew what acne was because my sister and brother were going through it. Right. But when they took that cast off, it was like a before picture in all of those um, retinol. Oh, videos. because all the oil stayed. Yes, it right was. On your so, face. I was like, oh. and I was like, oh my god, this is crazy. One more with pepperoni. Please. And then I had to roll to school like that, you know. And I'm sure that wasn't that's something like I blocked out. Like a big out. oily. Well, there city was no. Nose. It was just it was just everywhere. Like just acne everywhere. I was like, this is embarrassing. Yeah. Or wasn't I supposed to come out looking better? Did it? Uh, <laughs> you're breathing better. Did yeah, it it fix it. Did it uh, fix your? It fixed it, situation? and then I subsequently took taekwondo for four years, and I remember in a tournament it breaking again. So I have a deviated septum. So do you wow. think watching that? I know you yes. you questioned it right away. So I'm into this. Too. I'm into this. You're, you're, I'm but a full. My candidate. feeling is if that's it, if that's like giving it a whack. And yeah. by the way, uh, cosmetics aside. I'm I'm thinking more in terms of Breathing having two open and not snoring. Yeah, yeah I get it. Back. Look, I got one but, side. But the snoring is gone in my life anyway. I am off. Uh, yeah, the weight Carla, loss does. Carla, it. I'm gonna, I'll be posting about this later, uh, promoting Derm Glow Skin's uh, weight loss button. Uh, that it's pretty cool. I had my best night's sleep without the machine last night, and it really is liberating. Mm. It without really, really a is. A single sit up, without a single. More a mile never, run. Ever. Yeah. This is his version, Rob. I know. This is when I want to kill him. This no. is his version. This is a selling you know, point. No, it's like, you know, this it's is exactly his version a selling of Hank's Look Around Cafe. No, That's no. it's a selling exactly point. The same relationship. That's what's it is, developing. But it's here. it is a selling point, though. It Mark. is a selling. It really point. is. It appeals to me. It's like seven minute abs. Six, Six minute abs. <laughs> yes. But it Two works. Two little monkeys sitting in a tree. Remember that old tale from the sea? <laughs> um. <laughs> Yeah. So but anyway, Mike, it, there's got to be a small part of you when you look at that video <laughs> <laughs> that he's a quack because, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, mean, I, I do, well, first of all, I think that when you move stuff around, uh, no matter what it is, you can get a good result. Yeah, you but can what also was, get a non-result or get my, a bad result. When my he father, explained it, I'm sorry. My, I'm sorry, uh, and I cut you off. My apologies. Go ahead. My father had a deviated septum till this past year, 83. They were walking out of a true value in Olney, and my mom pushed him. No, 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 it's not how it happened. He tripped. He says, my father says my mom pushed him, but I'm hoping she didn't. Um, And he fell and broke his nose the right way, and now he has a straight nose and can breathe. Oh, so they fixed it. It's good. Yeah. Uh, think about uh, th- this is my dumb non-medical assessment. Think about a skeleton, all right? 
You oh, see scary. bone, you see bone on a skeleton, but you also see that little triangle like a jack-o'-lantern because this nose, most of your nose is not bone, most of it is cartilage. And mm-hmm. uh what's the other stuff he was talking about? It was cartilage and some uh, other there's, stuff. there's a bone there. There is a bone. A disc. Disc uh, material. No. Uh, uh, no, I don't think there's a disc in your nose. Play the video again. Mac, did you find another video? I found a compilation of all the nose cracks this guy does. Okay. Let's, well, let's, hey, we'll uh, take, take it. Three. Feel free to jump in when you have that. <laughs> oh, I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> duh. Gotcha. Hey, hold on. Stop. Pause it. Pause. What do you mean, ha, 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 duh? Because Why? that's just Why the way duh? she sounded when her nose cracks. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, that's ha- you're happy. Mike, if you crack your knuckles, do your fingers shift? Have you ever gotten your back? You've gotten your back cracked? Yeah. Yeah, but, that's, know, but that's bone on bone. I don't no, think that you can disc. shift cartilage. I don't think you can shift cartilage. And he was in the original video amazingly vague about what he was doing. He says, I, "This I, is no, this." I don't, look, I'm not going to poo-poo that because I mean, he I called I, the I, disc I, a septum. It is a septum, okay. not a rectum. We no. learned that earlier. Yeah. But is the disc between the cartilage and the bone the septum? I think that, the he mid- said no. he said the disc or septum. The I bit, think the middle the of one. your nose, like the thing this that goes above get. you. When you ask questions We're like so that, dumb. you set us up I don't know. to look yeah. so stupid. Yeah. Uh, play where the do, video, where, damn it. Where do the rotors go? Call us. <laughs> Home run. And that clumped. Oh my gosh! I can breathe. There you go. That's All right, the now that, that that's the one you use in the commercial. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I That's don't know. Thing. I don't know. That goes know. on for 15 more minutes. It Good does. for him. All right. I think that it would be something. All right. If I cover this like that, if I cover right. this nostril, yeah, well, you, that's what I sound like. If yeah. I cover this nostril, this is what yeah. I sound like. Full that, fidelity. That, that should so, show you what this is what my nose is. I uh, thought you used to tell us that you never wanted to. F- F with your nose. Yeah, because, you because mess with I, the instrument. But, but I, but I don't want to go in and have a sur- when I went to Rob's ear, nose, and throat guy. This yeah. ENT. Seven hundred year old doctor. Yeah, I you know will me. tell you. Well, that is that not true. He was He's old. About your age. No, now. Well, I mean, he was your age then. I, he I ages was, too. All right, but, I, but was no. he running for president? No, he was not running for president. He said I was going to have to have two surgeries. Well, he likes oh, to make no. money. Yeah. Remember what in the movie mean? Sideways when she breaks his nose and he goes, said I might have to uh, have a, a surgery, maybe a couple. <laughs> That's how they get you, by the way. <laughs> Ear, nose, and Mike, throat, guys. I will Why tell you that. Couple? That is how they get you. Absolutely. Right. Just blower run activate. the blower right up next to the door while I'm taping again. Blower For an activate. hour and a half. It's a deviated blower. But Mike, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's the part I don't need. I don't need. Yeah, 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 yeah. Could you open the garage and invite him on the program? If I had a remote, I could open it. That'd be cool. Yeah. Can you hear it? Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. I like it. He's really getting the job done. He's really making sure all those palmettos roll out. And the bugs, palmetto bugs. Oh, no, I meant the tree. Oh, the tree. Well, it's a palm tree. Is it a palm tree? Yeah. Oh, the, uh, the neighbor across the street. Uh, mm-hmm. We had uh, Carla decide. Did they move or die? Remember those two trees? You don't. You won't. But they're two big trees we had on either side of the garage. Yeah, two, yeah I remember. Two regular you were proud trees. Of them. They were young. Yeah. Tre- no, I was not proud of them. They were two young trees oh. that were set up on either side of the garage. They're pain in the ass. They, they, they're the wrong plant. They're the wrong planting for that I type of you area. I were excited about the greenery no, on your property. No, no, no. I, 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 I was, a, I was, I was excited about the original layout. Which had a little baby palm in the front yard, looked very yeah. Florida, and then you know, uh, Queen screws with everything. Decided to come in and uh, and and just rip everything out and do it differently in her minimalist whatever, and decides to put these two giant trees. They're going to grow uh-huh. so wide that you can't walk up your your walkway. Well, the hurricane and the storms and everything. One of the big fronts that came through blew one over. Then they then they. Straighten it back up with their little ties, and then mm. they and then it blew over again. I finally put my foot down and I said, "Take them out, take them both out." Yeah, take them out. Perfect. Na- neighbor across the street, mm-hmm. first time in maybe three years, says yeah. to Carla, "I love how it looks with those trees out." 
Oh, nice. Wow. Is that an olive branch, or is that sort of a backhanded compliment, like it didn't look good? Fine. I think, no, They're I gone. think that's an olive branch. Think so? I, yeah. yeah. The I very fact that she be, said that anything. One, no, that was that was a, like, how about, it shouldn't take you removing something you put in. Yes. That, is, I mean, that's, it is a little yeah. hinky, right? I uh, know. That's like, hinky. oh, like, I see you bought a new car because then, they thought the first one was just You're overthinking gaudy. it. You're overthinking it. She's no, no. not thinking back I to said, the fact. I said to Carl, I said, well, that's an olive branch. And she said, but remember who we're dealing with here. And then I did. Yeah. And I'm like, no, I just assume not have. Because, why not mention them when they're in? Yeah. But when the effort's made, not when they take out something they put in. I don't know in. why yeah. you guys are thinking so evil. What if this neighbor across the street is very ill? And is trying to make amends oh before my it's God. too late. Thank you for mentioning that. No. My neighbor. Don't think so. Oh, I had the most awkward back and forth with my parents' neighbor across the street. All I pull in I pull in the driveway. I completely this is in Olney. Yeah. At O Town. Uh, and then not Johnny Cakes. Johnny Cakes lives to the left of, of my parents. Okay. And that's bad. the same size. Side of the street. Same side of the street. I across thought across the, the street, street was a prison. No. Okay, I'm just kidding. It's a sheets. <laughs> It's a brand to new the, sheet. To the right is the elementary school. Okay. So um, uh, the son comes over, my age. Never really interacted with them. Like From across the street. World, across the street. And he's like, and I'm sitting there, and he's in his pajamas still, and it's like 2 p.m., so nice. he's having a rough time. And Knocks like, on oh. the door? No. Stops me as I'm unpacking the Volvo. All right. uh, with a bunch of groceries I got from my parents. Okay, walks across the street in yeah. his yeah. jam. And he goes, he goes, are your parents home? I'm like, no, I'm just like, I picked up some groceries for them, dropping them off because they weren't home. Right. And um, he goes, I thought you should know. You should just tell your mom and dad that my mom died. And I'm like, and I don't remember her name. Oh, that no. Was, that was I had a sneeze. I'm sorry. That's terrible. It is. Well, I was like, so I don't know what to say. I was like, I barely talked to this guy over the 30 years we lived there. Was she there, elderly? Right? I would just see her from afar, and she was very sweet, and I'd be like, hello, and then walk in the house. And, and she'd yell back, no, would man. She have been, would she have been elderly? Yes. Been there for, like, your whole so run? As old as my mom in her 70s, you know? Okay, all right. Um, and Has the kid been there his whole life? In and out. I don't get involved with other people's business. I just Well, I mean, I mean you'd see him around, so, I thought, yeah. Um. And I and drugs. Like, oh, I, no, I, I just think <laughs> like maybe your, just your fidelity change. divorce. I, you know, we've all yeah. who knows. Right. Yeah. yeah. So I think he got divorced and moved back. But whatever. Um, and Is I the said, dad I'm still so, there. Do you no, know? He's oh. gone when I was when I was in high school. So um, he had passed away. Um, so, so somebody got a house probably paid for. I Woo. said, I think pajama boy. See, I didn't even think that far. I was like, I'm so sorry. And I went to go give him a hug. Because oh, I think no. that's what you do when someone tells you. Yeah. Because he looked like he needed a hug. And he backed off. <laughs> like I was like hitting on him. Oh. Well, so awkwardly. <laughs> probably. You don't know what the deal is. I don't know what the man's in his pajamas. You could do a study on people that don't like to be touched. You know, there are people that I have get it, but why situations. grief bomb me? Why a stranger? Well, he obviously wasn't looking for comfort because you tried. <laughs> I tried to be a human and give someone a hug, and it was like, "Wow, my body!" Did he my like time. double? Like he he backpedaled? He backpedaled. I'm like, I'm sorry. It looked like you needed a hug. He's like, I'm just, I'm okay. I just wanted to make sure that <laughs> it was the most awkward. So he's letting the neighborhood know in his pajamas. And I looked at Santos, who was I had the door open. I said, "Well, that didn't go well." It is great when all you have is a dog to talk to, and you do talk to them. <laughs> did your I've Did your it. mom Did your mom know the lady? Um, so I don't like to also grief bomb my parents, right? So it's a horrible thing. I was like, "What, what am I grief these- bombing? You wrote the book on it. It oh, is a yeah. horrible thing, though. Jesus it's one of the reasons why Christ. I love it. Excuse my language. <laughs> it's a horrible um, thing. That's why I love it." Yeah, it's, so, it's a dark part that runs deep in my family, Mike. Yeah, yeah. I, I never would have guessed that. There hasn't been a dead person that I, that I haven't been notified by you in yeah, 30 like years. Th- your third or fourth cousin. I didn't okay. tell you about Enough. Oscar's neighbor. Yeah, well, I'm letting you know because I didn't tell my parents. Okay. And my mom, like, this happened a month and a half ago. And I was like, she goes, did you know the lady across the street passed away? And I said, what was her name? And my mom's like, 
why you asked that? I said, we, we don't know her name. Like, what is this? Like, we, like. You it's so off, DC. You it's drop, so suburbs of DC. Yeah, you you would drop it off is. a panetone, and everybody's supposed to be friends. We know the Mahoney's next door. God bless them, you know. Right. But right. I bet you don't remember the. I was like, and cakes and all bills. We know them. But that's I said, it. Uh, I yeah. said that's it. That's all we know. How are you and, with neighbors' names, Mike? In your name, uh, growing up, uh, I could tell you everybody. Yeah, but I now just, I'm, I mean, now. I could go. I could go. Really, my street. All right. Yeah, Ed and Rita McCabe. Uh, Lou and, oh my gosh, Lou Ram and his wife, Betty, Betty Ram. And their son. Uh, Wait, now Chad, you're making up names because you knew a Chad Ram. Chad this is now you're Spencer, making things up. Chad, Spencer, Chesney, and Manette. What, Manette? Uh, woo, yes. Woo, yeah. Uh, then, Manette's got to be like Then the Kellys next door. Mm -hmm. Then uh, Harvey and uh, Ruth Katz, whose uh, daughters were Linda Katz. And Joni Katz. Katz Insurance. Yeah. They There's. wrote that musical on Broadway. Brother of Katz Hardware in my Ooh. hometown oh. growing up. Sort of a controlling family in your The weird guy on the hill, Mr. Mazaki. I remember you talking yes. about him. Yeah. Don't know the first name because he was a little odd. Down the road we had, and that's that's the, I, I back in the day I used to do it. Currently, yeah. I got, uh, I got, uh, I won't mention names. I'll make yeah, okay. up yeah, names, clear. but I know the yes. name over here. And I know uh, Bruce and Janice yeah. next door, and I know uh, the two across the street by name, and I know the two next to them by waving, but not by name. As yeah, much. you got and me. And then there. I know John down the street, and uh, but but uh, but not not more than two doors. Not, I not know more than all two our doors. neighbors on our block in D.C. I think that's unique. That, that is, is unique. There's yeah. like how about you and you're in your neighbors. you're in a you're in a I'm a, I I should know here. everybody's name. I know three names on our street, I think. Uh, I could come up with other names if I like jumped into Facebook because I'm Facebook friends with them, but I'm at a waving level with all of them. We always wave, we always say I hi. Wave to total we can strangers. make small talk. That doesn't mean anything. Waving. Okay. Well, so yeah, I'm at three, I think. It's waving is being good. a human. Don't yeah. hug though. No, no. And don't talk don't to your hug. dog. There you go, setting that bar high for yourself again. <laughs> um, but anyway, it's uh, no waving is like uh, I choose now in my neighborhood to not wave if I uh, if it's a stranger and I am not waved at. Okay, if I know the if, person. I wave. Yeah. If I don't know the person and they don't wave first, I don't wave. Because and what about I, in cars? Because you have a little more that's traffic exclusively than I do. in cars. That's oh, okay, I'm talking about. Cars. I'm talking about like out on the street. I would no, make I'm small talk about, like, with. There's them. a lot of walking, a lot of biking, a lot of cycling, all that stuff. And if I see like a nah, like that, there's a yeah. guy 7 a.m. clockwork taking his bike ride in the morning. Mm. 40 degrees, 80 degrees, doesn't matter. He's doing it. And wave at him every day. Every day. Don't, couldn't de tell you his name in a million years. Wave at him. Like him. Because it's that kind of a situation. Mm -hmm. There are multiple neighbors that are waivers. And there are multiple neighbors that uh, don't do it at all. And there are multiple neighbors at the end of the street that come from the richy rich section of the neighborhood that run that stop sign. And I'm, <laughs> I'm not having it. I'm not having it. Are all these neighbors, even those that remain nameless, are they small talkable? Uh, because it's in the car most of the time. There's very you don't see but them there, outside, but there yeah. are plenty of uh, like uh, neighbors around me where I where I chat. Uh, yeah. you know, no, not I plenty. talk to all my neighbors. They're all very nice. Oh, there's really? Yeah. yeah, we've lost that though. But it, I knew the neighborhood that I grew up in because it was a different time. A oh, me too. Completely me too. different yeah. time. I, may I ask you a question that maybe it will give you better perspective and on how well you know your neighbors? Do you know your neighbors like profession? Hmm. That's a good question and I do not. I, do I was not. just thinking about that. I do I, not. I, I know I could probably tell you what George did uh been over to the house multiple times, so uh, but I'm not sure. I know greatest but neighbor in might, the world. Really, I it might be DC mm -hmm. because DC they're like right away. Yeah, where yeah. do you work? Right. Yeah, I, I think the lady. My across... golf buddies, I could tell you nine, ten of them exactly yeah. what they do. What do they do? Or what they did? Oh, okay. Like what they're what do they do what now? Their professional. Uh, you know, no, I'm talking about what they did in their. They're all retired, so I could tell mm -hmm. you what they did in their careers. 
And got it, got it. some of these guys have, uh, you know, high, high, high level executive positions yeah. from mm-hmm. big companies, you know, uh, big auto, big you auto. know. Yeah. Yeah. I but. think the lady across the street and one over is an escort, but that's all I know. That's a good time to break. Thank you. Why do you want to break on that? You do. Like she you don't sure know that personally, right? a lot of visitors. Right? You know well, that personally. Carrie, she's got another friend over. <laughs> she's the one that has the noisiest recycle bin. There are men coming like, in and out of that driveway at every that. hour of the day. <laughs> got that I, pineapple outside again. Upside down pineapple. The baby. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Mike O'Barry Show. Not really. I haven't left. Here's a great habit to get into, courtesy of Liquid IV, which I'm drinking right now. And I'm drinking the watermelon today from the non-sugar-free Ooh, nice. version. Ooh, nice. Got lots of that, uh, you know, here Voice. at the house. And I'm having that. It's so yummy. Such a great flavor. Uh, courtesy of Liquid IV, since you run yourself ragged all weekend long, uh, going out late nights, hanging with friends, or screaming at flag football, uh, let's fix that with Hydration Monday. By doing the liquid IV thing. Well, was that supposed to be read on Monday? No, it's it's every Monday. You can prepare now for your hydration Monday. You get your liquid IV, and after you rip it up all weekend, Monday, every Monday, is hydration Monday. So you, you load up on it. on it on Mondays. Yeah. Liquid exactly. IV hydrates two times faster than water alone, all in a single delicious stick. No sugar, no artificial sweeteners. Liquid IV has three times the electrolytes of the leading sports drinks, plus eight vitamins and nutrients for everyday wellness. So good and so easy. Just add to your water bottle, shake it up, and go. Try white peach, green grape, or my favorite, lemon lime. Actually, I love them all, and you will too. Weekends are for going wild. So have a game plan for Monday with Liquid IV. Grab your Liquid IV hydration multiplier. In uh, It's sugar-free. It's in bulk nationwide at Costco. Or get 20% off your first order when you go to liquidiv.com. I was in Costco. I'll tell you about that uh, later in the show. And I saw my Liquid IV. I said, ah, no, you just ordered it through the Mike O'Mara Show website. Uh-huh. And that's what I did. Uh, go to liquidiv.com. Use the code TMO. I said, check out 20% off your first order when you shop superior Hydration today using promo code TMOS at liquidiv.com. Look, the Kraken has got an escort. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> in and out all day long in that house. I don't know what's going on. Uh, Mac, did you get the picture of Machine Gun Kelly that I uh, sent you this morning? I did. Uh, Machine Gun <laughs> Kelly isn't always known for... <laughs> that was funny. He's doing a voice. Uh, not always known for his rational decisions. Here we go again. Uh, Machine Gun Kelly got some serious ink done. His skin is now almost a solid black. Check this out. From his uh, arms to his shoulders and uh, down to his upper oh, torso. It looks good. Yeah, it looks great. Yeah, it does it like look a, cool. It looks like venom. Yeah, looks like uh, there are some disease. spots left uncovered to make designs, like a huge cross on his chest. Um, I would be concerned just looking at that with toxicity. I, I just would. Uh, yeah. Putting that much of uh, ink in your body, that to me might have. But I, I, do you think he's that? Much of a wingnut that he wouldn't like investigate that, or he wouldn't check into the side effects of that he, solid. That's that's a good chunk of your body covered you in black ink. know what you're doing right now? What's that? You are hating. How am this I hating? Man is it is uh, has a great body. He's no, but I'm saying, I'm, I don't know. how am I hating? I if said, this was a naked lady covered in tattoos, you wouldn't be saying a thing about her po- toxicity level in her skin. I said, I think he looks good. If you rewind the tape before you want to do judge me unfairly like you always do, you would know that I said it looks kind of cool. Do you need a hug? It, it looks kind of cool. Look, I, I wasn't hating. I was saying. I'm hating. That <laughs> I'm concerned. <laughs> I'm hating because hating it, it if, looks like we caught a picture of him halfway taking off an outfit after yoga. It's all right, just, this is different, but I'm going to give you an example. Back in the 60s, there was a movie, Goldfinger. Yeah. And the lady that was the model, the naked model, covered her entire body with paint, gold paint, and apparently she became very ill because of it. Uh, and so when I see that, tattoos if you talk about percentage of the body even if you've got a sleeve 
you've got almost as much exposed skin as you do inked skin. That, to me, I would just be curious to know yeah. if that would be something that might be, because I think it looks badass. I do. Is If yeah. you want that kind of look, he's achieved that. So I'm slightly attracted to him. I right think now. it's disgusting. Can you imagine the scabbing after that? But you've Horrible. got kids with tattoos, though. Yeah, I don't like yeah. it. I don't like I it. Don't How either. many tattoos do your kids have? I think Robert has two, and Julia has 75,000 tattoos. No, really? Really? Uh, no, I think she probably has about a dozen or 13. Yeah. Because yeah. I, when I saw when I saw Julia at her graduation party, I was like, whoa, I didn't know she had so many tattoos. She has a lot, and that's her thing, and we don't necessarily approve of it. Yeah, but, but that's, that's not progressive. If someone has a tattoo, honestly, if they're cool, I celebrate them. Self-expression. Mm. I, yeah, and I had, look, I had growing up, uh, I was people in my life with wonderful tattoos and horrible tattoos. Yeah, mm -hmm. the wonderful yeah. tattoos are true art. The ones that kind of look like they should have been a dolphin jumping through a hoop, and you know, not because skin stretched, but you're still in your twenties and it still doesn't look like it's uh, a dolphin jumping through a hoop, but more like a thumb. That is not beautiful. Any misspellings like no regrets? No, but no. I had. I, I had look a, at tattoos in a similar way to people that are. Uh, wearing beach wear. I think that if you have uh, a good look, mm. man or woman yeah. on the beach, flaunt it. If you don't, it doesn't do that much for me. Same thing yeah. with people that are, you know, have a big sloppy, flabby arm or leg and they're laying a tattoo on it. It kind of looks gross to me. I've always thought that way. Or, or yeah. too skinny, too. Same well, thing. if I say if you want to express yourself, that's fine. Write a poem. But you, don't, you that, can remove a poem. Kind of cool, but I would think that there would be some perhaps health issue, and I would say the same thing if it was a lovely lady, Oscar. I Throw that into chat GPT. Uh, Machine Gun Kelly posted another picture and captioned it, for spiritual purposes only. He also said in his Instagram stories that the work required 44 needles, and his tattoo artist uh, posted the picture and said, never met a tougher one, which means it was probably quite the ordeal pain-wise to get that done. So I feel so bad for him. Do you ever get the, the tattoo videos in your feed no. of guys tattooing down, or, you know, tattoo artists tattooing down there? Not guys getting tattooed down there, but ladies getting tattooed down there by tattoo artists? No, I got I to gotta put in your search engine. I got to... Well, I, gotta, I, mean, I, I mean, I'm not saying I do, but Schmosker Fantana yeah. sometimes gets, he told me he gets these these videos and he's like, oh, this is interesting. And the amount of artistry that goes down so is pretty speak. Pardon the pun. Yeah. I saw one of a tattoo, but it was Homer Simpson. And uh, it was, it used, how do they say? It used the geography well. Yeah, you got to elaborate a little bit now. Yeah. You okay. can't be coy about that. You were hesitant to bring it up. Yeah, in you, the first you almost place. flamed out. And then. No, no. Okay. Yeah. Let me put it to you this way they, they had to create his eyes and his nose. And his his face, but the mouth was already there. Is it a oh. is it on a male? Okay. It was on a woman. It's on let a woman. Me re, let me oh, rewind here. Okay, he's trying to explain to us because he doesn't want to be too graphic because he usually gets too graphic. So right. I appreciate right. that. Right, I get yeah. it. I get he's, it. He's he's saying that there's a full body of a frontal of a woman. Yes. And Homer Simpson's eyes are the boobs. The nose is the belly button, and the mouth was down below. Is that true? Actually, I think that's another one. I was thinking of a more s focused one. A close-up one? Yeah, like, like the vagine? Right yeah, down on the vagine yeah, the and the it's vagine Homer Simpson? That was the mouth, and then above it they built the face. <laughs> that's lovely. I wish Machine Kelly... Well, no, he, it's a girl. <laughs> Machine Sorry. Kelly. Well, that is Machine, Machine, Machine Kelly. Kelly. He would have a ding-dong, so he'd be more like Gonzo. Female, female Machine musician Kelly. Machine Kelly. Uh, I remember the movie Salem's Lot. Uh, the old movie uh, from the book. Uh, was Max von Sydow that's talking about the... Isn't that where he talks about the cheese? I think so. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, with a nice slice of cheddar cheese. Cheddar a new cheese. movie version of Stephen King's Salem's Lot was filmed in 2021 and still has not been released. And King wants to know why. He's actually seen it, and he thinks it's quite good. In a tweet, he described it as, quote, old-school horror filmmaking, slow build, big payoff. This could be bad news for King, though, because the culprit here is Warner Brothers. They've already shelved two major films mm -hmm. that were completely finished. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Batgirl and Coyote versus Acme. Uh, and they took the tax write-offs mm. to just shelve them.
I hate wow. that. I hate uh, that. That could be what they're doing here. As for what Stephen thinks is happening, he says, quote, who knows? I just write the effing things. So we don't know. <laughs> but kind of weird to think uh, for the Stephen King fans that there's a Salem's Lot sitting out there. Also, it's already been shot. You know, somebody spent all that money developing it. Yeah, it oh, must either be terrible or there's some copyright issues. Uh, you know, you never know. And if it, but really, I uh, it'll think land terrible. if it is complete, it'll land on streaming somehow. Because no, then yeah, they it, can't take the write off. They, they get rid of it completely. Yeah. They can't I, release it. But they can't like uh, it can't no. be like no. Once they take the write off, it's done. It's it's they got to burn it. Oh they, god, they that's the hard. Coyote one actually is uh, supposedly coming back. It is because fans really wanted it. Okay. Well, that doesn't mean they get it. We can't. This is I, in real life. I remember a news story where they said they they Cite might it. be doing it. Cite okay. it. Yeah. All right. Very good. Mac, uh, you get okay. what you get, and Fine. you don't get upset. Maybe Mac, I'm wrong. I'm completely thanks for, wrong. Oscar. Thanks. Well, no. Look it up. I, you know how many times off air I have to ask you to show me a secondary source, and then you're like, oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> now he's being quiet. Um, all right, we're moving on. We're moving on from that. Uh, yesterday, did we get to the rice thing in any great detail? Yesterday? No, we didn't at all. I had it, but we didn't get to it. Mixing water with electronics is bad. Mixing water with uncooked rice is good. So what about mixing uncooked rice with waterlogged cell phones? You probably heard the hack about, uh, it's been around for, what, 20, 30 years? At least, uh, as long as there's been phones. Putting wet cell phones in rice, especially if you've panicked after dropping your phone in a, uh, you know, in water, uh, a pool, the toilet, wherever. Uh, Apple is warning you not to do it. iPhones are more sophisticated than they used to be, and some can handle certain levels of water. They now have a liquid detection warning that tells you if your USB-C uh, gets wet, if the port gets wet. Uh, and there are things you can do. Dry the phone with a cloth. Tap the phone gently to drain water from the ports. Really? That's the one that got me. Tap, tap, tap. the phone? Yeah. Okay. Uh, leave the phone in a dry area with airflow and avoid putting cables inside until it's completely dry. How do you know? Uh, but they say don't insert a foreign object such as a cotton swab or a paper towel into the connector. And don't put your phone in a bag of rice. Doing so could allow small particles of rice to damage your iPhone. So there's I lost a I lost an iPhone five in the river, uh, and it was not it was not responsive, so I had to get rid of it. But Carrie, when you were tubing, oh, uh, no, no, this was on a boat. Actually, I had it in my pocket, and I forgot, and I was launching the boat. And okay, uh, All right. and I and I just bloop, bloop, and it was gone. But Carrie, over the Christmas holiday, dropped her iPhone in the toilet, and it was unaffected. It was the most amazing thing because they have the, the new the new waterproof facility. Now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you can so keep no it more in the rice toilet. with newer phones, but older phones and electronics. Yeah. Maybe it worked. It worked right after that, right? I, I, yeah. It was tough to get the poop off of it, but gross. <laughs> Sorry. I have an update for the tattoos. Tattoos? Yes. Yes. You mean the uh, machine gun like do... Kelly uh, tattoo? Yes. Tattoo. This is straight from our friends at Chat GPT four. Having tattoos involves injecting ink under the skin. The inks used for tattoos are subject to regulations by the health authorities in many countries to ensure that they're safe to use. While the risk of poisoning from tattoos is generally considered very low, there are some health concerns associated with tattoo inks, but they are generally low in toxicity. Okay, so that's a, that's a good thing. Mike, uh, may I have 20 <laughs> seconds to tell you my favorite tattoo guy story? Yes. It was at the uh, pizza restaurant at, uh, at King's Dominion. As people will know, it's called Victoria's Pizza. And a guy Nobody came knows in that. as a guy no came one in that was it knows. was no said, one knows that it was said with no irony. One knows that. No one knows Just, the name of the place at King's Dominion. It's a pizza place of note. So this guy what's comes the in. What's the pizza place again? It's called Fuck Victorious. You Pizza. Victorious. Is it Victorious? Or it is Victorious Hillary's? Pizzeria. Victoria. Hillary's. Yes, <laughs> but so in there, this guy comes in hottest day of the thin summer. Thin crust or thick crust? Uh, they have a thin crust. I do. Hand tossed? Terribly... Uh, no, I don't believe New so. New Haven style pizza? What is that? New Haven thin crust? No, or... Yeah, they have thin crust and they have it cheese pizza and they also have with pepperoni if you desire. Is there any cheese in the crust? No no cheese in the crust. Very old mm. school. Very okay. old school. So what uh, happened? He came in with a full sleeve of tattoos that were fresh and they were wrapped in saran wrap. It was the hottest day of the summer, literally, like over 100 degrees in the park. Uh, and as I sat there, really, I was just there to enjoy the air conditioning because that's how hot of a day it was. And this guy was telling his girlfriend, get this S off my arm so we can get on to the water rides. Uh, 
and they're standing oh. there among people eating, unwrapping saran wrap with traces of fluid. I don't know if it's blood or ink, oh. but he's unwrapping his arm, and he oh. drops it in, and I remember seeing crumpled up, dirty saran wrap on top of pizza crusts in the trash. And I salute you, Tattoo Haver. There you go. Thank That's you. nastiness. That's uh. a... Boy, oh boy. Did you ever get... Re- I've I never asked you this, because What's I that? have experienced... Uh, on a vacation, a public pool where my son, my wife, and I all came back from that vacation where we hung out in a massive, one of those massive resort yeah. pools all the time. We all got sick. Have you ever gotten ill coming back or any of your family gotten ill after a day at the park? No. And that's, I can 100% say that with honesty, but I will also say this. Oftentimes the next day we experience super strength. <laughs> right. Uh, moving right along. The power of the sun. It is. Right the pizza. Pool. Everybody knows it. <laughs> Mike, uh, don't you know that I'm saying that with irony when I say Everybody no knows that. Victoria's uh, Vagina's Pizza. Uh, Russell <laughs> look, Crow, for the big, look for the big Homer Simpson. <laughs> that's right. Tattoo, tattoos. Uh, Russell Crowe will give his all for the art of cinema, including his legs. In an interview with People Magazine, the Gladiator star revealed that he broke both legs while shooting a stunt for Ridley Scott's 2010 Robin Hood. He said, quote, I jumped off the... Hold on. I jumped off a castle. What's a portcullis? Is that like a turret? Some kind of Yeah, thing? it's part of a castle. I do know that. I don't I mean, know exactly what I it jumped is. off a castle portcullis onto a rock-hard, uneven ground. Uh, we should have uh, prepared the ground and buried a pad, but we were in a rush to get the shot done with the fighting line. Crow uh, felt uh, that too much was riding on his execution of the stunt to back out of it, with hundreds of extras around, arrows flying, and burn pots setting the castle on fire. There was no pulling out, he said. As I jumped, I remember thinking, this is going to hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, I actually have audio of the stunt. Okay, let's listen. Thank you. It's landed on a very hard telephone. <laughs> a hard telephone. He said it was a like castle? an electric shock bursting up through his body. We were shooting a big movie, so you just struggled through. He actually finished the film, uh, and it was very, very tough the last month. There were a number of weeks where even walking was a challenge. Down the road, like 10 years down the road, he found out that he had shattered both of his shins. Not shattered, but he'd broken them. And he didn't, he didn't treat it then? No. That's no. that's like it's like he had your dad. He's a tough guy. Yeah, yeah. No need, no need. Even though <laughs> your your eyes were black, Dad. God rest your soul. Uh, finally, a company called Blush is selling a beer can sex toy for men. It looks like a sixteen ounce can, but the inside is designed to, you know, be like sure. a, a pocket. You yeah. know. Uh, some people call those, uh, I think in the UK, they call those 16 ounce cans pounders, which seems kind of funny. Yeah. Uh, the label is a take on the old Schlitz logo, but the brand name is Shags, like the British version of it. Sure. Uh, they've got three different versions, depending on whether you prefer lagers, ales, or stouts. Mm. They retail for forty dollars. Looks like they've been available for a little while. But Vice dot com did a big write up, and it's just the latest in uh, their ongoing quest to make everything bangable. <laughs> there was a story last week about a new Stanley Tumbler sex toy. You know the big uh, cups they have. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that one uh, comes with an attachment too, so women can use it as well. That's nice. Isn't that very very yeah. nice, Homer? Uh, that's good. What's the Aren't name of the making- pizza place again? Victoria's Pizza. Mike. Victoria's Pizza. Aren't they making a 12 ounce version of that for Ireland? That's <laughs> yes, right. No, no, that's the no. But it's mushroom flavored beer. Oh, gross. We'll uh, take a break and uh, come back with something. Yeah, I know what I'm going to talk about, but you don't. We'll be right back. Grab your partner. Dance to this commercial. Are you ready to shed 26 percent of your way? Let's go, Derm Glow Skin. You didn't put the T on way. I didn't? No. <laughs> okay. Let's go! DermGlowSkin.com is the ultimate destination for conquering your weight. That has a T. Just take the quick quiz on the website. Discover if you qualify. 
experienced doctors will prescribe the right medicine, and your weight loss solution will be delivered directly to your doorstep. Uh, I told you my story today is that I have cut the cord of my little CPAP breathing machine. Mm. Really That's think great. about it. I was so fat that I required assisted breathing. <laughs> Wrong graphic. Mike. I no longer do. Uh, tired of waiting for low stocks of the medications? Dermglow ensures that you're connected with well-supplied doctors, eliminating any delays. It's a great time to start from now until March 15th. You can get a $300 discount on your Terzipatide subscription, so at fast. That's a $300 discount. That's good for you. And now, your medicine can even be shipped to Puerto Rico. Muy bien, bueno. I've experienced life-changing results. You can too. Please, uh, I got a summer job, incidentally, for this coming summer. I'm going to be a pool noodle. What? No. <laughs> I'm talking thin. Visit DermGlowSkin.com, click the weight loss button, and kick off the best journey of your life. Because with DermGlow, you can do it. All right, cool, I wanted to talk cool about this noodle. with uh, both of you, specifically yeah. our uh, Bolivian bloviator, Mr. Oscar Santana, yes. because uh, new show, I talked about the movie that we watched on Netflix, a docu-movie, and it's called Lover, Stalker, Killer on Netflix. I've watched it. I have been in the dating world. Oscar has been in the dating world. Rob uh Got married young and has been married for a hundred years, so I've not had, as much. I had, a, I had a couple dates back in the day. You did? I thought yeah. you took your V card. No, 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 V card. Uh, Stop it. The thing about this, I thought you really lost your virginity to your wife. No, no. Uh -uh. no. Sorry to disappoint. No, I thought that was a love story. I, I really did. I'm so. I wasn't even. I'm not even joking. No, I, no, I no, no. Like, I lost it in college. Your my first. I thought you were Cameron last, from Ferris Bueller's. Yeah, he's going to marry the first. You know. No. I'm, you know what? I might have, but I didn't. Thought better of it. Who okay. was your first uh, girl? What was her name? Well, her name was Jen, and that's Aww, all I'll say. Oh, that's sweet. Mm -hmm. but when my... got away, or? <laughs> you let her get away sometimes. Oh. <laughs> Set her loose. Mike, you were saying. No, you go ahead. No, no, I've got very little to Why say Why are you uncomfortable it. talking about your first girlfriend? We all had them. Oh, no, it wasn't even. No, I had girlfriends in high school, too, but I didn't ever, you know. I, I didn't lose it. Didn't I cash in my V card till college. You're so awkward talking about this. It's yeah. funny. It is funny, isn't it? Are you making her up? No. Is it real? No, no. Yes. I can did tell you, you the exact to, day. It did was you have a, to exchange? Did dollars? you date much longer after the, the act? Uh, we were in contact with each other. What does was that a, mean? What does that mean? It was a... <laughs> I'm trying to think. It was a couple times over a couple weeks. And then we remained friends. I mean, when you'd bring her food <laughs> downstairs in the basement. Yeah. Uh, I'd lower this the basket. Is... <laughs> when you lower the basket down. Yeah, I, 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 had, I was, you know, I was a classy guy, but I laid you down are, firm guidelines. You are so goddamn funny, Rob. I swear to God. <laughs> lower the basket down. I said it puts the lotion on its skin. Or else it gets the hose again. Oh, God. And we all know what the hose was. As a matter of fact, she made that up. She was cute. <laughs> See, as soon as we got him in the fantasy world, he, he, he hit on all eight. But the real stuff, Jen. Jen, yeah. You still uh, know, you st are you still in contact with Jen? No, no. Uh, I think we might be. We are Facebook friends, but I've not exchanged. Two ends or one end? One end. One end. And um, the day was the second day I was down to school for sophomore year. That was what the Ooh. day was. At VCU. Yeah. At VCU. At she was place. a student at VCU? Yeah, but I knew her in high school, too. Okay. Ooh. Um, so this movie, mm. and, and this Saucy. speaks to uh, the movie. I, I, I can give you the synopsis. No, I don't want to do that, uh, Oscar, because it probably wreck it for people. But I have to. I, I'd love to. I'd love to. Well, can I give a, without wrecking it? Just Yeah, you do context? it. Try that. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Yes. Um, so this guy's, you know, recently divorced and he's got a couple kids in his life. So he wants to stay in their life. And then he starts getting on the dating apps later, later in life. And he's he's talking about how, you know, it was some worked out, some didn't. But he ended up like essentially falling for two women within the span of three months. Okay. And then and one, hilarity of the women, ensues. one of the women turns out being not so stable. That's the best way to explain it. And okay. it speaks to something that I think anybody that has been uh, an adult 
in relationships, and I don't want to say later in life, but someone who has been through, say, a marriage and then gotten back into the dating world. That's Mm -hmm. fair, because the guy was in his 30s, 30s, early 40s. And it seems to me, and anybody that's been out there, as I have been in one's 30s, and you, 40s. You, and 40s. And 50s. And to a certain extent, 50s. Uh, even the, yeah, as, Were you, you get into 50 your plus when you married Carla? Uh, da, 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 da. No. 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 You, you, it was before 5 0. Yeah, it was before 5 0. Yeah. Oh, okay. I so think. I was yeah. Seven years, remark. I think. We, we, uh, I think it was about seven, seven years before we got hitched. Uh, so I, I have to say that I heard this and I experienced it. And my experience, I'll give it to you. I'm dating. I'm newly divorced or separated. I'm not sure which one, but I was out there. And I was very, you know, the radio show was going great. It was well known. It was uh, celebrity. It was wealthy. It was, it was not, right. it was a dating was not a problem great for car. me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I am not, I, I'm not a uh, traditionally handsome man, but I'm also not heinous. So I had a lot of dates. I went on a lot of dates. Isn't celebrity the greatest aphrodisiac? Uh, I think it's power. I don't, I, I don't know how much. Well, he had power too. I think yeah, perhaps like meeting people, it was a tremendous asset. Yeah. I'll it was tremendous. Well, I remember when I was a kid and I met you, I was like starstruck. Well, it was, I don't, yeah, you, I, if you, I, I don't remember feeling that way myself, but I remember that there were a lot of perks. That's the way I'll explain it. Yeah. I will also tell you Percocet. that when you <laughs> go, Percocets, yeah, well, that was the 80s. And the 90s. I have to say that when you are out in that world, doesn't yeah. matter what your status is, you find that, and a lot of guys and a lot of women have said this to me, that there are a lot of people that are bat s crazy sure. out there. And the story, if you watch this documentary, will blow you away what this poor guy went through. Uh, absolutely the extreme of extreme of extremes, but I will tell you the story for that th- this one thing happened, and I don't count this. It's been person. out for a while. You're not ruining anything. Well, the the, the uh, documentary, Lover, stalker killer, yeah. No, I I'm think. telling my story. Okay, you're. Oh, you. And, are, oh, and oh. my story is not about somebody who was really crazy, crazy, mm. like made my life hell. But it was a crazy thing that this person did. And it, it was only a one-off, but I said, I, I remember filing it under, God, there are people that are just nuts out there. You know, as I was yeah. processing, this is not somebody I'd want to be associated with anymore. This person is driving away from uh, wherever I was living at the time. And uh, we, had a, we had a lovely night and a lovely morning, and then it was like off to work and blah, 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 and everything was fine. I got a, I come back home that afternoon. And I got a voicemail uh, on my answering machine. And the, the, uh, the extent of it was, this is so-and-so from the blah, 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 police department. Uh, we, have, uh, we, just, uh, we have information that you may be aware of of a particular ind- – gives the person's name who was admitted to uh, blah, 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 hospital uh, for blah, blah, blah. And then she uh, lists a bunch of uh, injuries that were uh injuries down there and i was like i was so totally and utterly freaked out that i picked the phone up and i'm trying to and i can't reach this person and and it it goes on for like was it an implication from i'm sure the police call that was on the voicemail was very sort of uh, was it an implication that i had done anything wrong no no, it no, was, it was it, an emergency it, contact. You like you were an emergency it, contact. It, no, it was, but it was just this. Uh, Why would they call you? I'm sorry, you're not being clear. Why would they call you of all people? That's the long and short. Nobody called me except this person who was playing a joke on me. Oh no! Yeah, and I remember going, "What the f?" In what world is that something funny to do? I was freaked out. I said, I did I, did I, it, the implication is that due to the vigorous nature right. of no. our, uh, you knew it was fake right away. Of our, Let's be honest. No, I had, 
Oscar, it was so crafted. Well, the mushroom, the mushroom. Doesn't it was do well, that much. A, you know, grower not yeah. a shower. Thank you very oh, much. Sorry. All right, so I will tell you this. Now we know. <laughs> There's the truth. Gross. Sorry, you're packing. No, this is a long way of telling us that Jesus, you are packing. Shut up. Just stop with that, please. <laughs> this is a humble brag if I ever heard one. <laughs> it was not a humble brag. I, I you gave are this lady, and I really let me tell you. No. It that was, she had, she went crazy because it, it was just, it was just too passionate. She just went crazy, <laughs> and then she called me with some weird prank that said I was, was such a great lover. That, you are uh, so you know. Oscar, take a beat. Let yeah. this man talk. just tell him to calm down. Yeah, uh, easy. It was, this is it was. Oh, do it was you not so, see what's happening here? If anybody else came to to, the, to this table with that type of story, that you're like so no, um, uh, I'm vi- not. Uh, I'm not. That's the point. Okay. But I was terrified. I was, at, I'm like, that what is the scary. hell? Well, yes. Because it didn't make any sense. So right. that's my point I'm trying to make. I'm not humble bragging, you a-hole. I am simply telling the story. When this was finally revealed to me, I was so angry. I was so upset. And I, it was done because it was Break so it. Yeah. weird. It wasn't even, it was more of a dating thing than, a, okay. than even a steady more thing. More of a gen thing. It was, oh my God. God, I couldn't believe it. And it, it, I remember that moment, and there were others probably that were a little odd and stuff. Out there, when you are out there, and for all of you single people that are still doing it and are still out there, I get it. I get it. You just never know. You yeah. never know. And the gist of this documentary is you never, ever know. And stunning that, and I was curious because I know you've been through uh, a myriad yes. Yes. of dating people yes. where you just don't know men or women. You don't know who's out there. It's I had, nuts. I had a short term, like just basically a dating situation where um, by on the third date, you know how like, I guess at times someone will just dump out their purse looking for something. Yeah. And on the third date, um, I've done that. Like a, a weapon fell out. Gun of no, more like uh, like a butterfly knife. Okay, like a like a a, a, a fighting knife of some. Kind. Yes, yeah. yeah, like 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 the you know a nasty looking knife. Something that was like, oh, you know how to use this, and you could kill me. Yeah, uh, and I was like, oh, what's that? And then she like 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 in a movie, and here's the knife. And I said, oh, like is that for your protection? He goes, you never know when something's about to happen. And I said. And I slowly walked <laughs> back into the bushes like Homer Simpson. Yeah. You know, Mike, I remember. Out of that relationship slash dating situation. <laughs> it's weird. Because it scared me. I was just scared. I was like, right. I don't know what's happening here, but I don't want to be that, you know. Con- I'm sure she could have protected me. I don't know. Or, you know, circumcised you. One or the other. Uh, right. I, I had a conversation with Mark Riddell, Twitch, uh, the summer before he passed. And we had taken our daughters to King's Dominion, and they were on a thrill ride, so we were just waiting it out. And I said, you know. I know you've had girlfriends. Why aren't you dating now? And he said, because they're all crazy. That's why. He said, if they're even salvageable, they're taken. And the ones that are out there that are our age, Rob, a lot of people feel they're that crazy. Way. He was they're not crazy. alone. They feel, they feel that way about men as well. They yeah, feel well, that he, way that about are men. Broken. Oh, and then he asked me to go this steady. Is equal opportunity, yes. both yeah. sides, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. But it was just. And then the other is. One that was basically, and this is a long-term relationship, manipulating the relationship between my family and I by saying things that didn't happen between, like, them when I wasn't around. That's crazy. That is, and it's sinister, it's evil, and it, it there's so much of that. There's so much of that where the truth is just twisted around yeah. and it's like uh it's like a game to them though. Yeah, and uh-huh. sometimes uh I don't want to be sometimes the trashier the person, the bigger the lie. I we always had a theory yeah. that the real trashy people were the ones that would lie to radio shows yeah. and think that they were so scary smart. 
I think that's criminals in general. I think that a lot of criminals think they're smarter than they really are. I think they're it's really part just of the, stupid and they think they I can think get it's away part with of stuff. The, uh, the psychosis, I think it is. Well, yeah. I'd love to continue this. I really would. I'd love to continue okay. this subject because you just never know. If you want to check out a uh, really, really good documentary, it's. Uh, did you get my cue uh, on that? Yeah, route? I did. I, I my, my lover stalker up killer on uh, Netflix. Check it out. Uh, it's really, really uh, the extreme example yeah. of what's out there. And that guy. I felt so sorry for that person, and I felt sorry for everybody that uh, that was affected by that horrible story. It'll blow you away. We'll be right back. Everybody. Humble bragging. I have never humble bragged in my life about that part of my body, but it's true. That uh, you know. Stop it, grower. Uh, this podcast proudly sponsored by Naked Wines. Hey, I want to thank Rob for, uh, not the our Rob, but another Rob, for another purchase of a case of wine from Naked so Wines. Yeah. The subscription service links you directly to the world's best independent winemakers. You can enjoy a case of top quality wines at a fraction of the store price, up to 60% off. I love that you can answer a few questions when you order. These are so well designed for you fact. to get the right kind of wine that you like. My father is a wine snob. Yes. Mike, if I may, I took the case over to my parents' house because they enjoy a nice glass of wine. Right. And I, and I said, what do you think? New advertiser. And my dad said, this is fantastic. I, yeah. I haven't gotten a bad bottle out of the entire case. Wonderful. Incredible. Mm -hmm. Uh, you order, they'll instantly match you with the perfect pour for your taste. Uh, the cabs I got were extraordinary. Uh, in the off chance you don't like a bottle, they'll give you a credit so you can find one you love. Naked Wines sure is fine, and that rhymes. Head to nakedwines.com slash TMOS and click Enter Voucher in the top right when you get to the website. Then here's what you do. You enter both TMOS for both the code and the password. That's two TMOSs to get six bottles of wine for just $39.99 with shipping included. That's $100 off and less than $7 per bottle. Nakedwines.com slash TMOS. Code and password TMOS for $100 off your first six bottles. And cheers. We got time for a real, real uh, quickie here. Uh, scratch off fever, Oscar. Yes. Uh, yes. Don't have scratch you won, Have you won anything? Look. I the most I've ever won on a scratch off is sixty dollars. Um, what did you spend to get a sixty dollar ticket though? Forty bucks. Okay, save profit. So twenty dollars. Yeah. Net. I think people don't. You don't realize the net just like in gambling. I got a grand once. What? I got a grand. Uh, like on what type of ticket? Uh, scratch off a twenty dollar ticket. Oh. Yeah, I did. I it was it was a great great win. We had to go to that, the uh, we had to go to the lottery office to get it. You couldn't just bring it into the store and get that. that wasn't one. that a Florida scratcher called Meth Busters? Meth Busters. Oh man, <laughs> real skinny per cartoon skinny person on the front with no teeth. And you and you you scratch with a tooth. Yeah, and a great TV commercial. Meth Busters. Would you sign up for a subscription service <laughs> for scratchers? No. No, because it's completely uh, it's it's a uh, impulse buy one hundred percent when you're at the grocery store and you might have yeah, but some cash. To isn't buy. the pain actually getting it? Like going to not if you yeah. go to the automatic machine. Do you have the automatic machines up there at your? Grocery I've never store? used an automatic. Oh, machine. I do all the time. I don't want to. Do, I don't want to walk up and look somebody in the eye and uh, let them know that I'm a degenerate. Yeah, I've never set out to buy. I've never like said I'm going to the store to buy I scratchers. Have. You know what I've I say? To a Powerball. I've yeah. gone to the store and bought them. You know, I, I bought. I bought them. I've gone to the store. I don't and know about them. that, Mike. I don't know about that. When I purchase them, I always preface what I'm going to say or the ones I'm going to order by saying. <laughs> I'm a grower, not a shower. <laughs> do you? Do Mighty you? Mushroom wins. <laughs> See, I think, I think a scratcher subscription pack. Yes. And this is a unique idea. Takes away all of the like stigma, the dirty feeling of buying a scratcher. And they just come in the mail. They just like they're delivered to you just like a Postmates. Well, I have something like that that I do. Uh, it's, it's similar. I take forty dollars a month and throw it in my solo stove and burn it. And uh, I take. I don't have to go out and buy tickets. Do you buy or scratchers anything. ever, Rob? Yeah, but always an impulse buy. I will set out yeah, to so buy like a like a Powerball ticket or something. I'll go to the store for that. But I will only get a scratcher if I'm like at a at a Seven Eleven or a Sheets or something. That's you almost said McDonald's. I know I did. They don't sell them. Are you going to McDonald's today? I'm not. 
Okay, I was just checking. I was yeah. wondering whether that was a Freudian slip. Well, thing. no, Sheets has yeah. junk food as well. Yeah. It's probably thinking of like a Sheets. McDonald's yeah. doesn't sell lottery tickets. Wouldn't that be a great idea? Yes. Yeah. Remember that? I, okay, so that's one. The and hot the other side stays hot and the cold side stays cold. McDLT. Yes. The, Failure. <laughs> what's the most expensive scratcher you've ever seen? The one, the expensive one I've ever seen would be I. I want to say like fifty bucks or something like that. Or in the machine they have like fifty, maybe sixty dollar ones. I don't yeah, know. I've scratched a twenty. That's the biggest I've ever had an encounter with. I think I've done yeah, a thirty. They have a five hundred dollar scratcher in Vegas. Really? Yeah, but the jackpots are like through the roof. That's why I want to get Vegas Matt on the show. I want to get yeah. Vegas Matt because uh, Vegas Matt uh, has been uh, – he got on uh, his webpage or wherever he puts his media up, and yeah. he had to come out and kind of walk his fans off the ledge. They were concerned about him because apparently on a weekend he'd lost $140,000 gambling on slot machines. Wow. And uh, he What are worse odds, slot machines or scratchers? Probably just about the same. Just about the same, only – the volume that you can lose on a slot machine is far greater with that. But I know that the last time I was in Vegas, they offered me a $500 scratcher, and it turned out to be an escort service. <laughs> there it is again. Thank you. Yes, you you wrapped it up. Way to get out of the break quickly. <laughs> well done. That's awesome. We were What's able to name, get the, not only a good line right across the street. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's got scratchers in her pocket. Uh, we will take a break, and when we come back, it's uh, the flip side, the flip of side. With uh, Tattoo Julia starting things off right after this, everybody. That sounded real. <laughs> Hello. Hello. All right. There it is. Hey, did you know that 80% of men will experience hair thinning in their lifetime? Oscar's holding it up right there. They should move to Baltimore. Ah! But you can get ahead of it with Nutrafol. You don't have to choose between hair growth and your health. Nutrafol's drug-free whole-body approach promotes hair growth from within. Oscar's holding it up right there. I love it. Take their hair wellness quiz at Nutrafol.com slash TMOS for a personalized hair health plan based on your specific root causes. Free shipping and automated deliveries ensure you'll never miss a day. Hanks to Nutrafol. Why did you say wow. Hanks? That's weird. That's two missing T's today. Uh, Odd. Thanks to Nutrafol, Oscar is uh, <laughs> Maybe I got a broken button. Is your tea working? I don't know. Thanks to Nutrafol, Oscar is seeing thicker hair, and he has a sickness for the thickness. Nutrafol <laughs> is the number one dermatologist recommend. He didn't make a typo on that part. No. <laughs> <laughs> He'll never, he will never mistype the joke, ever. Uh, Nutrafol is the number one dermatologist recommended <laughs> hair growth supplement uh, brand with over 1 million people seeing thicker, stronger, faster growing hair with less shedding. For a limited amount of time, Nutrafol is offering our listeners $10 off your first month subscription and a free shipping and free shipping when you go to Nutrafol.com slash men and enter the promo code MOS. That's Nutrafol.com slash men. You're Promo not code helping. MOS. You're not helping. <laughs> TMOS. TMOS. Hello. That's our code. It's dot com. Thank you. Roll over, roll The flip side. I'm going to have to look into that. For a while, I had trouble with my six. Take it away, Rob. Thank you, Mike. Uh, thank you, Mike. Uh, let's start with David Letterman. <laughs> Uh, I miss David Letterman a lot, and I think it's great that he goes on to his own channel through a venue called The Barbara Gain Show, which is a fake talk show hosted by one of his old producers. And it's award season, and he tells a great story here. It's David Letterman talking about the People's Choice Awards, and oh, I really miss him. You know, I always, the only award show I really watch are the Tonys. You know, my favorite award show was the People's Choice Awards. Uh, and I loved everything about it because it was just a fixed job up and down, owned by Procter & Gamble. Uh, they owned the whole thing. And here was the deal. If you were nominated for the People's Choice Award, they would call ahead and say, oh, by the way, Larry, you're the winner of the People's Choice Award. Right. And you'd think, whoa! I'm getting an award! Yes! And then the deal is you got to show up. If you don't show up to the People's Choice Award, they take it away. you're dead to them. You're just 
dead to them. So uh, one time I had won the People's Choice Award, and it was held on a Monday night, and you got to go all the way to California. And I said to the People's Choice people, I said, I, I can't, I'm working, I can't, okay, you're dead to us, they said. And so I watched the whole show, and then at the very end, as the credits are rolling, uh, winner of the talk show, got our dear letter. Good night, everybody! <laughs> and I thought, wow, what? What a fixed deal this is. So uh, the FEC is looking into that nonsense. That's... There you go, People's Choice Award. You know what my choice is, people? Not to watch. Hey. <laughs> That's a good one, huh? Yeah, That's a good, pretty good A little more out. raw. A little raw, yeah, right? he wouldn't tell that story on the show. No but, way he'd tell that story But on peep the show. in on his YouTube page. God, it's funny. It okay. is Isn't he still doing the show on Netflix? Yeah, he still does the interview show occasionally. My next guest yeah, needs no introduction. Yeah. Yeah. But right. I like David Letterman riffing, and occasionally you'll get Paul Schaefer on the Barber Gang show. Excuse too, me. Good... Uh, we just yeah. had a, somebody just scared the crap out of me. Come on in here. What do you have? What do, what do you have here? Oh, look what he made. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Delicious. Grab the I don't know what that is. Grab the microphone for a second, okay? Is it food? It's right. for can, can we hear you? Go ahead. Are you done? Oh, I didn't turn on your microphone. Hold on just a second. And you stole his headphones. I have bed head. What's that? You have bed head? I have Okay, hold on a second. It's just All not, right, there we go. Okay. All right, go ahead. Hi, Hello, everybody. Uh, Hello. Can you tell everybody what you uh, what your creation is you here? Just this ruined looks... it. But... I'm sorry. I know it's just a thank you. Don't be like that. <laughs> All right. What is? What is it? <laughs> you broke it, Dad. Just... Lean over so people can see. Thanks, you. I just Dad. knew you didn't have breakfast. So. Look at his breakfast. Aww. Tell us what's in it. I'm um, just apples, raisins, bananas, and honey. Isn't that That's cool? That's so sweet. Wow. Ask him kid. what happens when dad doesn't have breakfast. What happens when dad doesn't have breakfast? You starve? <laughs> <laughs> Will you lean in so people can see you, please? Right. Hi, hi. Hey, buddy. What, of all those fruits that you chose, which one hides the flavor of arsenic the best? Oh, he's rough saying well, I'm trying to poison you. I'm not trying to poison you. <laughs> no. How are you feeling? You feeling better? You were feeling a little rough yesterday. I'm feeling better. Yeah, okay. You look right. good. You're the, you're the greatest. Do you know that? Thank you. I love you. Are you playing your game? No? What are you doing? Just laying, Just laying in bed. He's on vacation this yeah. week. All right. Here, well, he took time breakfast. to make you breakfast. Come on. No, this That's is sweet. his. Huh? This is yours, it's right? Yours. It's he mine? made it for you, yes. Mike. Wow. Mr. President, this food's for you. Who made it for me? <laughs> for, 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 for. <laughs> wow. Oh, man. That's good. Why do you think he would come show you something? Yeah, that... to mock you? <laughs> It doesn't make sense. He was clearly. Do you think he my paranoia is only on the show? It's with everybody in my friggin' life. <laughs> That's do your, sad. Do your thing. Yeah. All right, let's close sad. with this, Oscar. <laughs> let's close with this, Max. Yeah, I, um, is sad. This is a. Uh, this is beer related, and you very seldom get to see something so Three Stooges like in real life. This is a New England brewery. They named this drink uh, that we're about to see this beer. Blowback IPA, and you'll see why in a moment. It's uh, 6.5%, which is quite alcoholic, and it's a limited release, obviously. This man was nearly killed by an IPA. Death, where is thy sting? This guy's loosening up the tank. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Mac, can we see that again? And it continues to spray... Like incredibly pressurized. That tank does not need to see a urologist. It will loop again, so give it a second. But it, it, it's so funny. They say limited release, obviously. Wow. And they finally do get it plugged up. But that spray, when he loosens that valve, watch. <laughs> oh my god! That could kill somebody. Wow. Yeah, you know it's funny. Alcohol almost killed me too. That's, uh, that's all I got for you today. That will leave a mark. <laughs> that's it. Uh, we got to oh, get out of here. That was a good show, boys. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with a brand new episode when I will talk about the despicable people in the Costco gas line. Bastards. Efforts. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. For Rob Spiewak and Oscar Santana and Michael McIntyre. Hey! Michael Maris saying so long, everybody. Bye-bye. Ciao, ciao. Want more? Make sure you check out the Michael Mara Bonus Show. Get it at michaelmarashow.com. Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. Sabrina, don't just stare at it. Eat it. <laughs> 